Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with that. That break right there. 2018 Topps Allen & Ginger Baseball 6-box half case. Pick your team number 4 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There it is. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday. We've got, we've got a lot of breaks logged in and a lot more breaks to go. Thanks to Diane for grabbing that last spot mojo. Cardinals. So thank you, everybody. We've been having a, we have, we've had a nice busy week pretty much since new release night. It's been nonstop since Wednesday when we started the show. All right, so we'll save all of these box toppers for the end. I'll keep them just off camera right over here to the right. So now, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, with, with, with a number of breaks kind of uh, already spoken for, we are kind of running out of time. As it stands now, we've got an hour left in the broadcast. So I know you're looking at the clock going, hey, Joe, it's only 7.06 Pacific. And I'm like, yeah, only 7.06 Pacific. But with this break, that takes about, you know, 45, 50 minutes. You know, another couple other longer breaks happening, another break or two. Squeeze. Next thing you know, you know, we're, we're down to the last hour of the broadcast once we calculate all that time. So whatever you want to do, get into it, jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you want to do optic baseball, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it pretty much has to be the next break that fills, so we can get into the get it into the schedule. If something, it's because it's first to fill, first to break. If something else fills first, then that will actually have us run out of time for op, uh, for optic baseball. So we'll have to push that till till um, till next Tuesday when we get back. It's all up to you, ladies and gentlemen, which direction we go, what we do. All right, now someone was saying, who was saying, was it Eric? Eric Jennings, EJ was saying, we should be expecting two rip cards in this half because we did not see any in the first half. So there should be two? Is there two per case? At least one, right? I actually don't think they're, they're are they actually case? I don't know if they're actually guaranteed one per case or two per case. But I think that's kind of what we've been seeing. Oh, were there four in that last case? Were there four? I don't know. All the random teams and figure teams blur in together. So I, I don't know which came from where. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. So we'll save all these minis. So we'll look at the backs of those. There's mini Otani. And for the non-sports spot... Jonah with Tommy Wiseau. Nice. The, the So Bad It's Good movie. Were there two in the first half and two in the second half? I don't know. I, I just confuse it with all the random teams that we squeeze in, too. Kip says he's seen a few cases with more than two. TJ saying that you've heard, you heard it here first, folks. This is on the record. TJ says, Joe... If I hit a Rockies rip card, he doesn't. TJ doesn't need to have the Colorado Rockies. Uh, I can rip. Excellent. TJ got a couple rip cards last night, so I guess tonight it's okay if we open the, the Rockies one. The ones last night were really nice, though. There, he got a Machado to seventy-five, and he got an out of fifteen. Double rib card, Bryce Harper, Trey Turner. There's Jose Altuve for the Strohs. That goes to Jimmy Brandt. I don't blame him for not opening up, opening those ones up. Do 
Jeremy Merle with the Angels, by the way. He had a nice trout in the first half of this break. Archer, Babe Ruth mini, nice, Alex Wood, and sports writer Claire Smith. Uh, that's another one for the other spot, Jonah with the sports writer. What does she write for? What sport does she cover? I'm not sure if I'm familiar with her. All right, now the backs of the minis. Nothing hand numbered back there, but a nice start here. Next pick your team four box. Good luck, everybody. Let's see how how are my how are my picks doing today? Red Sox, Red Sox losing to the Tigers. They're shut out by the Tigers. Come on, come on. The Brew Crew still leading the Dodgers four two. I had Milwaukee plus one fifty, so that'll that'll help. What about Texas? Texas Rangers down by ten. Oh, well, that's not gonna happen. What about what about the White Sox? White Sox Seattle just started. All right. So Brewers and White Sox, you're my only hope. To turn this turn my MLB picks day around. What game do I have on the TV here? I got, I got White Sox Mariners on the TV. Uh, other final scores, so yeah, so the Detroit shutting out the Boston Red Sox 5 nothing in Detroit, and the Marlins edging out the Rays 3-2. Going into the ninth inning, top of the ninth, Brewers are ahead 4-2 over the Dodgers. Top of the eighth, Pirates are leading the Reds in Cincinnati 5-2. Bottom of the eighth, Royals leading the Twins 3-2. Bottom of the eighth in game two of the doubleheader, 3-3, three, three, Cardinals, Cubs. End of the eighth, going to the top of the ninth in Anaheim. Astros currently shutting out the Angels 7-0. Rough couple of games for the Angels. Top of the seventh in Texas, Cleveland pounding on the Rangers 10-0. And going into the bottom of the sixth in Arizona, the Rockies and the Diamondbacks tied at four. Top of the fifth in Oakland, San Francisco Giants with a narrow 1-0 lead. Scoreless after half a frame in Seattle. That's it. That's your Saturday, July 21st, 2018. The Yankees beat the Mets. Cubs beat the Cardinals in game one. Toronto beat the Blue Birds, beat the Blackbirds, the Orioles. Blue Jays beat the Orioles 4-1. In a team of birds, bird team mojo. Yeah, that sweep by the Pirates. What, did they play five games? Uh, yeah, that sweep by the Pirates hurt the Brew. Yeah, the Brewers going into 
the All-Star break were definitely limping into the All-Star break and had lost a lot of ground to the Cubs. There you go. Caught that Reese Hoskins. Cat-like reflexes. All right, so let's go through these guys. And there's J.D. Martinez. That is for Rick T. and the Red Sox. Royals up 4-2 now. Who's this guy? Christopher McDonald? Oh, shoot him or Gavin Happy Gilmore. Hmm. All right. And it's an Orioles rip card. Five out of 50 for Jesse Rager. It's an Adam Jones out of 50 rip card. Up to you, Jesse. Somewhere out there, someone's really excited about collecting the entire Pepper set. That's what I love. That's what I love about this. Uh, I don't think there are any Rangers yet, Rex. Not yet. A rip card, Ryan, is exactly what you think it is. You can rip it open, and inside will be one of, a mini card. But not ones that you can just get out of anywhere. There's Dexter Fowler. So inside, Ryan, you can get anything like this. Red mini autograph card, an exclusive mini parallel. Those are the short print minis. Um, mini wood parallel, one of ones. Metal, one of ones, or a one of a kind sketch card. See, so there's like a little... No, well, I don't see it here. It's not as clear here, but you can kind of see there's like a little perforation right here where you can literally rip the card. And do that. All right. So Jesse's not in the room. So we're gonna just gonna. So we'll just have to. We'll just be a mystery. That's what we were thinking, Rex. Since there were no, uh, since there were no rip cards in the first half of this break, break three, we should expect maybe at least one more. One hopes. I think that's our first glow-in-the-dark card, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see that the, there's a different sort of material on it. You can kind of see that glow-in-the-dark sort of pattern. I see that right there at the top left-hand corner? That's pretty cool. That's uh, Tyler Maley for the Reds, Jeremy Merle with that one. I would. I don't think I could get the the room dark enough to actually see the glow in the dark part. But nice. Why why wouldn't you rip it, Ryan? Well, sometimes the, you, there there's more value in not ripping it, and then you could if if one were to resell, they can they may be able to resell it for a higher price because. 
you could you could pop it open and maybe it would be a just a regular short printed card of someone maybe not as popular as you would hoped it would be you know what i mean so it's it's a it's a risk in terms of in terms of value Gilo, what's going on? I think that's the first glow in the dark we've pulled because I don't remember anything because it was really clear to see the back from the back just how um, just how different that backing was from uh, from the other mini cards. So I feel like I always check the backs of those. So I feel like I would have seen one. Pretty, it was pretty obvious. I would have seen one already. I think that's the first one I've seen. Now all those mini ships. So I'm, if if I missed one, it'll still go to whoever, whatever team that's supposed to go to. But it's the first one I've seen. Chase Utley just grounded into a double play. Come on, Chase. Dodgers are down to their last out. Down 4-2. Logan Forsyth up. I know, I know. I see it, Ryan. Ryan H. Is... Yeah, I guess you guys need the win more than, more than we do, I guess. It's kind of a rough stretch for the Brewers. Brewers fans on their feet. A lot of long faces. They're just like, oh man, we need this one. Forsyth fouls one back. Now I guess you, there's gonna, Ryan. It, you might, you may saw, you, you may there may be a little bit of lag time, so you you might see the play, and then you might hear me say it like thirty seconds later. But apologies, <laughs> might be a little annoying, but. All right, next one. Logan Forsyth bloops one into no man's land. Shallow right field. Man on base. Two outs. Has anyone ever gotten the Bill James baseball prospectus? Baseball abstracts or anything, something like that. I don't know how, how much does that how much does that cost? It's for baseball stat nerds. I kind of I feel like I want to try to get at least one of those. He he started it on his own I think in the eighties and just um, started it by himself in the eighties and it was like maybe twenty pages and he sold like he he just went to the store and got you know ran the pages through a copy machine and just stapled them together and sent them out right. And it was just like strictly it was mail order. It was mail order and then um you know, I think it was only like twenty pages on the, but then it just kept growing and growing. I I, I maybe at the hundred hundreds of pages now. But I don't know how much it costs. There's Sloan Stevens. There's Paige. Dreamy. Orlando. And that mini frame that you guys were looking at right here, it's... It's a relic, Miguel Sano. That goes to Nathan, Nathan H with that one. Trevor Story. J 
chest and smoke. Epstein, Ramirez. And the got a cloth. Nice, 10 out of 10. Cargo for the Rockies. Nice one, TJ. That's pretty. I, I actually like these cloth cards. You can actually see the cloth through the little window right there, too. Nice. I dream of Jeannie Bouchard. Oh, is that an out? Ah, that's game over for the Dodgers. Well, at least I, uh, at least I had the Brewers plus one fifty. Bill James. I'm going to buy his prospectus one of these days. All right. We are halfway through this half case break. Um, we have uh, we've got a four box random team break already filled. Already filled. We're going to be doing that later tonight. Next one. Good luck, everybody. And then we'll do the box toppers. And we'll do the break. Oh, you know what? I'll drop. Uh, I will drop. The schedule right there. And then we have. What else? Um, let's see. We've got Valiant after this. Then we've got Spectra Basketball. Then we got four box break of Ginter, the random team break from a fresh case. Then we've got Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court. And that'll bring us to should bring us to about 9:30 Pacific on the uh, on the West Coast. Basically, I know like some people want to do optic baseball. If you want to do that, ladies and gentlemen, that's got to fill. And Gabe bought a spot. That's got to fill by the by the time hardcore ends. If hardcore, if we don't fill it by then, then we're gonna have to push that break till Tuesday. If we do fill that optic, then that'll be the last break of the night. Oh, that's right. So there were three in that case, Kip. So Kip looked back and said uh, there was the Ahmed Rosario in Pick Your Team 1 and then TJ's two rip cards in Pick Your Team 2. So there were three in that one. But there's usually two? We got one already. Ryan Hack, so I've never done one of these. Let's say I buy the Cardinals. What do you get? Just any hits that are the Cardinals. Exactly. Simple as that. Did we look at the backs of those other cards? I feel like I didn't. I did? No, I did. All right. 
right, moving on. All right. Jason Hayward. No worries, CJ. Jason Hayward for the Cubs. Yeah, I do too. I think I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I like the wood cards. I like the metal cards. I think they should they should experiment more with, you know, creating cards in different material. I'd like to see more wood. I think that would be pretty neat. And then, looks like an autograph behind Taiwan Walker is this guy in uh, Freaks and Geeks, right? Michael Rapport? Was he in Freaks and Geeks? He's in a lot of stuff. but That'll go to other. Non-baseball, non-sport Jonah with that one. Lindsey Vaughn. Deer skin cards, Rex? I, w I would see. Deer, that'd be pretty cool. A leather card? I'd be into that. That'd be pretty cool. There's Miguel Cabrera for the Tigers. That'll be for John H. CMK, you have an old silk card from 1911. That's pretty cool. And a Corey, a Corey Seager frame silk from last year. Nice. Yeah, I think those cards are pretty neat. I think we, we've seen a, two or three of them over across all these breaks. I feel like I know most of these indigenous heroes. But I, I don't know who Poetan is. Oh. Pocahontas is dead. All right, I get it. All right, I remember. I get it now. Optic is down to five now. Just, just gonna, just gonna kill Joe once and for all, right? Just like make him do another hour-long break. Just let's just finish Joe off. My hands might fall off. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for Optic Baseball later tonight to see Joe pass out in the middle of the break. Um, Christian Williams saying, keep Joe Beasley. Alone. No, 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 no. If Optic went, when and if Optic fills, that'll be the last break of the night. That's it. There will be nothing else after that. Everything will be pushed till Tuesday. Sorry. Go Tigers. What's going on? Jimmy? I think maybe. Um, big sunflower. See, I can't, I don't do pick the dill pickle flavor. You said it sounds gross, but you'll never go back. Yeah, I, I've I've tried it. One of my buddies swears by swears by the the dill pickle flavor sunflower seeds. Oh, okay, hi Jimmy. Um, go goes that's Jimmy Brandt, folks. Um, goes by the dill pickle flavor. Swears by it. Uh, I just uh. I just, uh, I just can't, I just can't do it. I've tried it. Not good. 
I'm a barbecue man. I do like the ranch, the 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 big sunflower seeds, the Hidden Valley Ranch flavor. Um, the Hidden Valley Ranch flavor is really good. The thing, the uh, there's the uh, I gotta watch out for the the sodium content though, because there's a lot of sodium in those in those sunflower seeds. So there's another brand, Spitz, I think, is a good sunflower seed brand, ladies and gentlemen. If you are if you are a man or a woman who maybe intakes a little too much sodium, but you love sunflower seeds, Spitz is pretty good. This break sponsored to you by Spit Sunflower Seeds. Lower in sodium. There's Josh Harrison um, for the Pirates. Who's got the bucko? Michael Gallucci, of course. Steel Curtain. But that it's far less sodium. So it's not not the flavor isn't as powerful, but you'll get used to it. And its seeds are pretty delicious. Pretty good. I have never had swamp seeds. What are swamp seeds? Weren't we draining the swamp? Doesn't she kind of... I said this before. No one responded to this. Doesn't she kind of look like she could be... Um, if you, like Anne Hathaway's sister? They have a similar mouth, I think. Anne Hathaway's sister? No? Also, am I going to be watching more LPGA? Probably. Can I put action on the LPGA? Maybe. <laughs> Landon likes the sriracha, some sort of sriracha seed. Sloan Stevens, I think she she might be one of our next superstar there. Now Jimmy says, "Oh, is she, I think she looks like Kristen Cavallari." There's Joey Gallo for Rex and the Rangers. Ooh. Stephen K, that sounds that sounds pretty good. They are shelled sunflower seeds in crawfish boil seasoning. Huh. That sounds pretty delicious. Swamp seeds. I'm gonna try that out. Um I am not sure, Jose and Gabe. I saw Gabe ask a question earlier, too. But I don't think we're going to have... I don't think we're going to have Apple Pay. I think it'll just be the usual credit card. Payments. And uh, and and PayPal, if, they, if you wanted to. Carlos Correa. Uh, there is. There's a uh, Gabriel Hernandez. And there's you, Gabriel Lopez. All right, the Correa relic goes to Jimmy Brandt. There you go, sir. Good to see you. All right. Oh, does Biggs have a uh, Old Bay flavor? I could. I've I've not seen that at my local convenience store. I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of Roberts. 
We have a lot of Joes, a lot of Roberts. We got a couple we got a couple Gabriels. I feel like we've got a lot of We've got a few Jameses. We've got a few Richards. Richards, Riches, and Ricks. We got it. We got a couple Michael G's. Oh, this is this looks like yeah. This is the uh, the glossy hot box. So all those glossy cards will they will ship. So this is our last box of Pick Your Team number four from JaspiesHobbyland.com. Let's drop a quick schedule here. And looks like we are going to get that optic in tonight. So that'll be that should be the last break of the night, and then we'll do the. The uh, promo, which you can still get into, ladies and gentlemen. You still have a little under three hours to buy spots in 2016 Noir Soccer, 2017 Flawless Football, 2016 Select Soccer, 2017-18 Chronicles Basketball, and Upper Deck Supreme or Upper Deck uh, SP Authentic uh, Hockey. The, those breaks don't have to fill tonight, but as long as you buy spots, you'll be eligible for break credit. So get into it. I think there's only two Sams. It's just you, Sam Roll, and Sam Strayer, and I think that's it. Right? At least the the the, the regular regular Sams. Sam R, Sam S. Yeah, there are a lot of Joes here. We got we got Joseph Johns, Joe Flores, Joe P. There's another Joe P in Jersey. There's Arizona Joe P. That's one we see more often. And then there's a Jersey Joe P who's been shopping with us for a while. Let's say Joseph Johns. There's a Joe Kroll, Joe Flores, Joe Jaspi. Yeah, we're like the base cards of real life. I can't believe you've never met another Gabe in real life. Really? I feel like, I feel like that's a common last name out here anyway. Or a common first name out here. What is that? Why are you all backwards and weird? All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. We made it. So these glossies, that's uh, Jock Peterson's brother. We'll save these glossies. And there's Justin Upton for the Angels. Let's save one of those Otani glossies. Another one for the Angels, Jeremy Merle. What are the hits for the Rays? I don't think they have very many. It was only a $10 team. In this set, I would guess like maybe a relic or two. Probably nothing significant. But that's why the rays are priced at the price they're. Uh they're priced at. Oh, an optic? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. Gilo's saying that there's some Brendan McKay's in there. He might be he might be the next Shohei Otani two way player. And there's Jose Altuve, relic for Jimmy Brandt and the Strohs.
All right, and the last bit here. And Luis Severino is our last our last relic for the Yankees. Adam Kupperman. So what, we just had that one rip card. That was it. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even check soccer scores, John. Oh, Galaxy won? I put like pennies on those. Uh, who did I have? Uh, well, I'll do it after after I finish this video. Yeah, just one rip. Just that uh, just that Adam Jones. Jonesy. That was it. Maybe we'll get something especial here. All right, no, nothing there. All right. Good luck. Raphael Devers, box topper. That is for the Red Sox, Rick T. There's Cal Ripken Jr. There he is. For the Orioles, that'll be for Jesse Rager. Jose Altuve, box topper for Jimmy. We've got Mark McGuire, A's edition. Look how young he looks there. That goes to Eric Jennings and the Athletics. Another Mark McGuire for Eric. I'll probably frame one of those. Frame one of these. Oh, that's right, Sam. You will have a good move. We'll see you when you get back. Let us know how you settle in. And another Jose Altuve. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. My guess is we'll probably get um, the random team that's on the site right now. jazbeeshobbyland.com is our last case of Allen and Ginter, but my guess is we'll probably get another case or two of these. So thanks very much, everyone, for filling all these up this week. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com.